What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Taste Like Music. Jason, Joe, and Crams are here. Stooges Week, day three. If you missed the first two days, we ranked the five studio albums. We also gave you our selections for the top 10 favorite songs. Uh, today, we are just going to do, normally we do like a top five or something for side three. Today, we're just doing a little bit more of a discussion about the two mixes of Raw Power, the original Bowie mix, and then the uh, Iggy Pop mix, which I think is from the 90s. Is that when that came out? 97. I don't know why it took so long, though, because I believe they immediately like weren't crazy about the Bowie mix. So it took them 25, 24 years to be like, all right, well, then we'll just do it over. So the story goes that Bowie got the 24 track tape. And so now there's, I thought when I read about it, that what Bowie said was factual, but apparently Joe is um, saying that's not true. But I thought that the, uh, the band was on one track. He had vocals on the track and, electric guitar on a track which totally would make sense because that's the way it sounds it sounds like there wasn't a lot of individual control over instruments um but if bowie thought that it, um, it would be the same situation if they were all like grouped on a single uh bus or something so i don't know there's no low end there's no kick drum so that's i mean it doesn't sound very good and to clarify allegedly there were original tapes and bootleg recordings of Iggy's mix that he did back in the day it just took until 97 for it to like officially come out and I think that's kind of part of like the allure and charm that a lot of stooge heads really have is was like in the late 70s and 80s like finding these rare mixes and then eventually they released rough power which was kind of like a blend of the two and all of that yeah, the, the story is that uh, Morgan Neville's documentary film on Raw Power, they demonstrated that each individual instrument was recorded on its own track. So either Bowie didn't have those tracks, he didn't know about them, or he'd been working with a copy that had like been mixed down or something. So just such a bizarre circumstance. And so we're left with the Bowie mix of Raw Power and the Iggy Pop mix, and they both suck. So it's unfortunate that there is no good version of this album. Like, I mean, both have their positives, I think, and their horrible drawbacks. Like neither of them sound like a competent person mixed them. One just has like more power and more vocals and a little less of like the weird, like all over the place um, sound levels that Bowie's does. Like Iggy's is like a little more streamlined or a little more, it's not even professional, but like it doesn't, I think it smooths out a little bit of, of Bowie's like weird sort of yeah, but volume choices. Iggy's version sounds like a Rick Rubin production. Like it's, so loud and every instrument is as loud as the other one everything is just mixed like this like just do it all up put all the things up compress it i think it even clips a little bit nothing stands out versus the bowie where nothing stands out in the opposite way it's weird um apparently on reddit the cool thing to do with people that really love this record is to make your own playlist mixed with Rough Power, Iggy, and David Bowie. Then if you really want to get nasty, you can get into your editing software and put together different versions into one song to make your ideal version of each song with like the verse from Iggy and the that's some hardcore cool ass stuff right there like with today's technology somewhere out there there probably exists a mix that is far superior to the the two that we have to listen to or subjected to uh just this you know the same way that people are redoing like lucas art uh star wars uh like motion graphics now they're just like some dude with his workstation like i can do better than this crap like, there's got to be someone out there who can send me a, a better version 
there if someone has stems out there send them to me I'll, I'll mix it that'd be fun uh but yeah the 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 iggy mix is weird it because it sounds this, like the same situation it sounds like he only had three tracks to work with also so it doesn't sound like he had the full uh array of the 24 tracks it sounds kind of like he took the bowie mix and just smashed it to death with a compressor and turned everything up and like eq'd the low end and just cranked the knob on it and I don't know, it sounds really bad. For me, I prefer the Bowie mix, especially like of all the Stooges records, this one has a little bit more atmosphere to it. Like a track like Penetration has like some reverb going on. And, you know, there's there's a little nuance with like acoustic guitars and backing vocals and stuff. And to me, that all just gets obliterated by the Iggy Pop mix. And, you know, I'll sacrifice the low end of the Bowie mix to, to hear some of the more interesting things happening. Yeah, I would agree with that, especially a lot of my favorite moments on this album are when the acoustic guitar comes in and it sounds much better on the Bowie version. Um, so, yeah, yeah. And like you said, you get those atmospheres. Yeah, it, it sounds the Iggy one just sounds like it's from the a bad sounding alternative record from the late 90s. Like, that's what it sounds like. And even not that good, even. It's tough. Yeah. How do you not have like a really good mix of this album? I can't think of another album where literally the production is the only thing or the, the mixing, I should say is the only thing that's keeping it you know, from five star status for me. Usually when you're that good and you are that important of a band, you have decent producers and mixers and everything. And however, whatever happened there, it's a damn shame because uh, I think it's a fantastically crafted album as far as songwriting goes and the instruments and everything, but just the worst mix I think I've ever heard on any like major label album or major <laughs> produced album. Especially considering you have Bowie here in 72 in his prime. Like it's mm -hmm. not even when he went to the Berlin phase yet. And you know, if, if he was a producer on this when he was eating green peppers and milk and cocaine only, that's a different story. It'd be like, yeah, well, maybe Bowie wasn't the best pick to come in and help you while he was already overworked. But like, yeah, how did you drop the ball here? It's, I, I don't get it. It's like bringing in Mariano Rivera and he forgets how to throw a cutter. It's like, what the hell, what, what happened here? Yeah, this is, this is the same year that he produces all the young dudes as well. So drastic difference, huge difference. And he puts out Ziggy this year. What a year. One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm going Bowie officially. Bowie. Bowie. And unanimous. To be fair, the Bowie mix I don't think is great, but I don't dislike it as much as everyone else does. You guys are talking like it's like an all-time worst, like almost Joe saying it just pretty much ruins it for him. And I, I basically am overlooking my own feelings about the production to put it at four and a half because I had it at four the whole dang week, but I kind of got over a little bit of the production issues, the mixing issues, and I said, well, I think underneath, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I said everyone else does and like want to put it five star, but I'll, I'll split the difference and, and do four and a half. Just, but it pains me to have to listen to it and that's definitely what held me back from really getting into it previously. Yeah, for me, it, it actually makes it not a good record. It would be a whole star higher for me if it, it was, if it sounded better. But I think it, the mix takes it from good to not, not really good. <laughs> so, all right, let us know what you think of Raw Power, which mix you prefer. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and check out the video description for a bunch of links, all of our social media, website, merch and Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.